It is essential to be up to date on happenings around you and to make that easy for you. Ladies and gentlemen, we present Fresh Light, where we bring fresh newspaper headlines to limelight. Mondays to Saturdays, 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. on Alia Moye TV and Radio. Watch, like, subscribe, and make sure your notification is activated on our YouTube channel. You can also like and comment on our pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Aliamoye TV and Radio. Tuesday morning right here on Aliamuye TV and radio beautiful one from the studio and I'm sure it is a beautiful morning from the other side uh, while you're watching us live on Facebook at Aliamuye TV and radio the ninth day in the month of May 2023 thank you so much for always always watching our programs uh, for always commenting liking and sharing our programs really appreciate uh, definitely it is our pleasure welcome to fresh light a fresh episode for today on aliamoye tv and radio where we'll take you through different headlines and we'll bring uh, to the studio this morning different newspapers and see what is trending to keep you abreast while you're preparing to go to work and uh, while you're at work you're doing whatever you're doing this beautiful morning that's why we're dedicated and committed uh, to keep you abreast and to take you through uh, the stories of prominent headlines in our newspapers this morning. My name is Mudukbe Akinye, so you're welcome to a fresh episode of Fresh Light. With me in the studio, I have a couple of newspapers. I have the Punch newspaper, I have Leadership, I have The Nation, I have Punch, and I have uh, the Nigerian Tribune newspaper. I would take you through different uh, headlines. We have the front pages of the newspapers this morning. We'll kick start Fresh Light with the uh, Leadership newspaper. The stories we have, uh, headline we have in the front page of the leadership newspaper. From leadership, you would see this headline, Tent NAS Leadership, Zoning Formula on Setus, APC, Aspirants, Batu Ready. Page 4 in the leadership newspaper as that story. On presidential poll, we shall ensure justice tribunal revealing that. And page 7, I will give you details to that very story. And Nigeria spends $3.3 billion on auto parts annually. Also, you get that detail uh, from page 7 in the leadership newspaper. Away from that, we also have a metro headline right in front page. A rather sad one, two to die by Angen for conspiracy robbery in Delta. You also get that metro news uh, on page 10 in the leadership newspaper. Supreme Court decides Adeleke Oyetola's fate today, page 12 carries the story of uh, the headline i had frank discussion with obi not reconciliations showing counsel revealing that uh, from page six in the leadership newspaper tinobu may travel out as northern youth seek probe of buhari's aid uh, that story you will also uh, find on page 14 in the leadership newspaper bandits abduct 40 worshippers in kaduna a rather sad one also from uh, page 10 in the um, leadership newspaper. Uh, you also uh, see this trending. NMA offers 1,150 persons free medical care in Taraba. You also get that uh, from the leadership newspaper. Nigerians to pay 8.4 trillion naira for fuel in six months. You also get that in the leadership newspaper. Let's see, going through the ne leadership newspaper uh, to keep you abreast and uh, take you through the bodies of a couple of some stories in the leadership newspaper. On presidential poll, uh, we have the statements credited to the tribunal saying we shall ensure justice. 
The presidential election petitions tribunal began sitting yesterday in Abuja with the pledge to ensure justice for those who deserve it. The tribunal fixed the hearing of petitions filed by the Action People's Party, APP, and the Labour Party for tomorrow. Prominent Nigerians, civil society organizations, CSOs, and other stakeholders have repeatedly urged the tribunal to avoid miscarriage of justice and earn the citizens' confidence in the judiciary. On the presidential poll, we shall ensure justice, the tribunal revealing, and the rest of that in leadership newspaper. Away from that, we also have on the 10th Assembly, uh, 10th National Assembly leadership, zoning formula on Sertus APC, aspirant battle ready. For the governing All Progressive Congress, APC, and its federal lawmakers, the gloves are off in the ongoing scramble for principal offices of the incoming 10th National Assembly, that's the NAS. Members elect on the party's platform have indicated that they may uh, treacherously change allegiance and rene uh, renegade from the party's zoning arrangement. The crisis rocking the party over the leadership of the 10th NAS got to the point of highest tension yesterday when the party's leadership officially confirmed the endorsement of former Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Godswe Lapabu, a Senate President, and Tajidi Nabas, a Speaker of House of Representatives for the 10th National Assembly by the party leaders. You get more details to that story in the leadership newspaper with the headline 10th NAS Leadership, Zoning Formula on Setu's APC, Aspirants Battle Ready. Away from the battle on the National Assembly uh, principal offices, we also have this uh, headline from the leadership. PEPT, Atiku, PDP make case for live broadcast of proceedings. The candidates of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the February 25 presidential election uh, that was concluded, Al-Haji Atiku Abubakar has approached the presidential election petition tribunal for an order allowing live broadcast of the day-to-day -day proceedings of the court regarding his petition. Atiku and the PDP in an application dated May 5 were specifically praying the, uh, the tribunal for an order directing the court's registry and the parties and modalities for admission of media practitioners and their equipment into the courtroom. PEPT, Atiku, PDP, make case for live broadcast of proceedings. Leadership newspaper also captures that story. Away from that, we also have um a metro story from the leadership bandit released three more kebby college girls three of the remaining seven abducted female students of the federal government college brennan yari uh, kebby state have been released those released are elizabeth ogeji Nwafo, esther sunday and alia abubaka the chairman of the forum of parents of the kidnapped victims malam salim kauje disclosed this saying that the newly released college girls arrived at the state on monday afternoon the rather cherry and positive one from the leadership newspaper bandit released three more kebby college girls away from that let's see what we also have in the front page of the nation newspaper and uh, see the headlines we have in the front page of the nation newspaper apc kicks apabio abbas as senate president and speaker uh, you get that details in the nation newspaper i don't know obedience says shoyinka uh, showing Kyle also revealing that from the nation, 40 worshippers abducted during church service. The metro story you also find in the nation newspaper. And uh, also, pre uh, presidential tribunal stri uh, strikes out action alliance suit. You also get the details of that in the nation newspaper. 134 kidnapped victims from FCT um rescued in kogi uh, you also get that from the nation newspaper Four hundred thousand youth participated annually in nyc program uh, you also get the details of that in the nation newspaper and uh, quickly perusing the pages of the nation newspaper uh, this morning we have from the stable of the uh all progressives congress apc picks a pavio abbas as senate president and speaker the ruling party yesterday announced its choice for principal positions for the 10th National Assembly. Aside from the geopolitical uh, areas to which it zoned top officials, the All Progressives Congress APC attached its preferred people to occupy the offices 
The party's National Working Committee, NWC, ratified the arrangement at its meeting in Abuja, according to its spokesman, Felix Moka. Senator Gotula Pabio of Kwaibom Northwest is tipped as Senate President and Senator Barao Jibrin Kanonov as Deputy Senate President, also nominated a Tajudi Nabaz Zaria, a Federal Constituency, Kaduna State, a Speaker, House of Representatives, and Benjamin Kalu of Bende Federal Constituency, Abia State, as Deputy Speaker. And the election for principal officers is the first assignment the two chambers will carry out after the inauguration next month. APC picks a Pabio Abbas as Senate President and Speaker. The Nation is paper as the story. Away from that, we also have from the Nation of Basojo Sultan. Uh, right here, others and others, Lord Inwayawu's choice as Oanese leader, former President Lushe Basojo Sultan of Sokoto, uh, right here. Also revealing that Lahaji Sahad Abubakar and Oranto Petroleum uh, Chief Executive Prince Arthur Aze have joined other prominent leaders to hail the choice of Chief Emmanuel Iwayawu as President General of Oanese Indigo Worldwide. The leadership of the Northern Elders Forum also congratulated the elder statesman. Obasajo Sultan, others, Lord Iwayawu's choice as Oanese leader. The nation is paper captures that story from the business page of the nation we also have cbn authorizes foreign banks to give loans in dollar central bank of nigeria cbn yesterday took a major step to improve dollar liquidity through foreign banks representatives in nigeria the apex bank authorized them to work with their parents companies in availing and syndicating foreign currency dominated loans uh, dollar loans to nigerian companies the guidelines for the regulation of representative offices of foreign banks in Nigeria signed by the Director of Financial Policy and Regulation Department, Mohamed Musa, said the policy aligns with CBN's mandate to pr uh, promote financial system stability. From the business page of the nation, CBN authorizes foreign banks to give loans in dollar. Away from the nation newspaper, let's see also from the Tribune newspaper what uh, we have stories from the front page. On NAS presiding officers, opposition items as APC National Working Committee adopts a Pabio and, uh, and a Baz. Page 28 as the story. Away from that, we have um, from the front page, you know, show Supreme Court delivers judgment on governor petition today. Page 29 also carries the details. Bandit abducts 40 worshippers uh, during church service in Kaduna. That's also surfaced under the front page of the Nigerian Tribune. And page 5 has the details to the story. Why Nigeria should join BRICS Falano. Uh, also revealing that from uh, page 8 in the Nigerian Tribune. Presidential election petition court dismisses action alliance petition. Uh, page 5 also uh, captures uh, the story. Federal government presents certificate of discharge to Transcore Power Limited. You also get that from the business, uh, business page of the Nigerian Tribune newspaper. Quickly going through, uh, through the Nigerian Tribune, uh, we have uh, stories Okay, Action Alliance withdraw, withdraws petition against Tinubu's victory. The Action Alliance and its presidential candidate, Solomon David, on Monday withdrew their petition, challenging the declaration of Bola Tinubu as the winner of the February 25 presidential election. At the commencement of the pre-hearing session of the presidential election petition, court sitting in Abuja, counsel to the petitioners, Oba Madhuabuchi's son, uh, moved a motion for the withdrawal of the petition. According to Madhu Abuchi in a court, we have a motion filed on May 3 seeking an order of the court for the withdrawal of our petition and upon withdrawal the petition should be dismissed. End of court. And following a no objection by the respondent in the matter, Justice Haruno Samani led a five-member panel of justices of court, granted a request for the withdrawal of the petition and consequently dismissed it. Action Alliance withdraws petition against Tinubu's victory. That in the Tribune newspaper. Also from the Tribune, Nigerian Tribune newspaper, also have the story, support Tinubu for better Nigeria, or tells obedience and others. 
the Arole Odudua on your VFA day, a Baba today, and it's on Google. See, Jaja the second CFR has made an appeal so on Nigerians across the country, regardless of party affiliations, to unite and work together with the president elect Ashwaj Balatinabu for the progress of Nigeria. Oh, Nia Day, you made this call in Lagos while Austin. I delegation sent by Kenya President William Ruto, headed by Kenya's Chief of Staff and Head of Public Service Francis Koski, also Chairman Dangote Group Al Haji Aliko Dangote, CEO of uh, Perpetual uh, Harry Ebohan, Governor of Uga State, Prince Dakwa Abiodun, and Finta Guru uh, Kumi Demoran, who met with the President elect Balatinabo at his Lagos residence. Support Tinubu for better Nigeria, only tells obedient and others. Nigerian Tribune captures that story. And from uh, the stable of the National um, Youth Service Corps at 50, we've done well in national integra integration, Zonal Director, revealing that. As the National Youth Service Corps celebrates its Golden Jubilee, the Northeast Area Director of Corps, uh, Ahigo Yahaya said that the scheme has really done well in the area of national integration through the youth. He also said that the scheme has done creditably well in the area of affiliation and collaboration with different agencies of the government to make the country a better place with different programs. Ahigo Yahaya stated this in Bochi on Monday during the unity walk organized by the scheme as part of activities to celebrate its 50 years of existence and according to him nyc produced up to 400,000 core members in a year in contrast to about 1,000 produced per annum when it was initially established nyc at 50 we've done well in national integration zonal director revealing that and the nigerian tribune also publishing this morning away from that we also have um, a story from the Nigerian Tribune, ABC nominates candidates for 10 National Assembly principal offices. That's also in the daily uh, Nigerian Tribune. The ruling All Progressives Congress has nominated candidate for principal officers of a 10 National Assembly ahead of June inauguration. The party, in a statement signed by its publicity secretary, Felix Mocha, and released on Monday, explained that the APC has resolved to zone the Senate presidency to the South South by picking former Kwaibum State Governor Senator Augusto Lapabio, why Senator Barao Gibran for uh, from Northwest is nominated for the position of the deputy. APC nominates candidates for 10th National Assembly principal offices. The Nigerian Tribune captures and quickly taking this from the Nigerian Tribune as well. Resident of Lambe Akute Adinyo appealed to Ogun government over deplorable roads and flyover. A resident of ro and road users have called on the Ogun state government to, as a matter of urgency, complete the abandoned Akute Adinyo road in it for local government area of the state. The resident, while speaking to the Nigerian Tribune, lamented the deplorable condition of the road as well as the abandoned flyover. A Nigerian Tribune gathered that the construction of a road was awarded by Senator Ibukunle Amosu-led administration 11 years ago. The people said they received the announcement of reconstruction of the road, including the flyover by the former governor with joy, believing that when the project is completed, it will ease the transportation system and also improve the socio-economic life in the areas. Residents of Lambe Akute Adinyo appealed to Ogun government over deplorable roads and fly over all you'll find in the belly of the nigerian tribune newspaper we'll go on the short break we'll be back to take more stories in our newspaper stay with us on aliyamoye tv and radio <music> have been disappointed say, in their bid to see greener pasture abroad. To so those who work in the business, it is a rocket science. That is not our case. Our Tau South travels and talks tells on how to successfully without stress help you process and secure your visa to anywhere in the world. Do you want permanent and tourism visa, student visa to places like Europe, America, Asia, Africa? It's no big deal to us. Our Tau South travels and talks. Our years of experience volume for us let's process for you so you okay within a twinkle of an urgent 
and Omara services. What are you waiting for? Consult us at number nine, South South Central Mall, Sholanke Street, behind Hotel Abiola Way, Abiola. Zero eight zero two seven zero nine zero zero or zero eight zero six five seven eight four zero six zero. Stop wasting money. Pay for peace of mind. Talk to Tau South Track. Thousands have been disappointed severely in the beauty city. Those quack in the travel. Wallafe to buy you to get Bagbam, Nunko Jab Zayana. House of Zayana. I know when we talk of top notch material and class. House of Zayana. Yes. Egypt and Malaysia clothing, Dubai, I want designer bags, no rishi rishi, I want it's a leg batter, so do not want for war, regina she, I want to go to Jordan, designer sunglasses and perfumes, but what? Go boom, come to be real, see, ha, 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 nebe, oh, me, kami, 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 eh, mo, go, go, eh, mo, me, a lesson, fashion, say, wani ni, lo, jala, Atia Baya Lurishi Rishi House of Gugwera House of Zayana Wane 52 Olong Usho Golden Church Agapi Olong Gwa Bell Kuta Lori Instagram House of Zayana 081 House of Zayana Elate Lo Wa Shaw Atin Kwa Ashara Lo Getin Benini This is Fresh Light on Aliamuye TV and Radio and still going through different headlines and stories in our different newspapers this beautiful morning. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, I still have with me the Vanguard newspaper. And let's see the stories we have in the front page of the Vanguard. On the presidential election petitions hearing, avoid technicalities, delays, call to one's parties and lawyers with uh, several riders which you also find in the front page but page five has the details to that very story on 10th national assembly apc zone senate presidency to south south not west gets speaker slot uh, page eight has the story uh, to the headline also from the business uh, page but the business story from the front page cbn bans foreign banks representative rep office from banking business page 19 as that uh, business story and the metro headline also rather sad one perspective bright seven others dying in zafara boats mishap you get that details on page six in the vanga newspaper away from that we also have federal government present discharge certificate to transco power limited page 34 uh, carries the story reconciliation not discussed during obese visit showing council revealing this from the front page of the vanga newspaper and that's on page 10. terrorist attack kaduna church abduct 40 worshippers we also are uh, seeing this in the front page of the vanga newspaper a metro story which page 7 uh, captures the details of the metro story on sudan crisis we have an update here 129 more evacuees arrive abuja uh, page 9 uh, captures the story away from that religious politics will destroy nigeria the governor Sule wants and of course uh, you will also find that on page 13 in the vanguard newspaper uh, picketing labor tackles fan md over comment you also get that details on page 9 in the vanguard newspaper away from that from the health um, pages and health headline on cancer nigeria lagging in rachi therapy treatment expert revealing that from page 32 in the vanguard newspaper on, in uh, the world of sport uh, page 39 uh, we have a uh, headline surfacing on the front page on champions league uh, fireworks as real madrid battle man city for final ticket uh, going through the Vanga newspaper, let's see uh, the stories we have in the Vanga newspaper this beautiful morning. And on the presidential election petitions from the Vanguard newspaper. 
uh, we have the body avoid technicalities de and delays call to one's parties and lawyers the presidential election petition court PEPC yesterday commenced hearing the petition seeking to nullify the outcome of the 2023 presidential election through the tribunal held its inaugural session a legal ritual that precedes the actual hearing of petitions as the session of five member panel of justices of the court of appeal will determine all the five petitions ch challenging the declaration of Bala Tinubu of the ruling of Progressives Congress, APC as the winner of the presidential election, were reviewed. While the panel will be headed by the presiding justice of Abuja Division of a Court of Appeal, Justice Aruna uh, Samani, other members of the panel are Justice Stephen Ada uh, of the uh, uh, Asaba Division, Justice Mansura Balaji Yusuf, Asaba Division, uh, Justice Bolu Romo Ugo from Kano Division and Justice Abba Mohammed from Ibado Division. The sitting of a court held a mid-tide security presence at the Court of Appeal in Abuja, venue of the Presidential Election Petition Court. On the Presidential Election Petitions, avoid technicalities and delays. The court wants parties and lawyers. The Vanga newspaper also captures that. Away from that, from the Vanguard on fuel subsidy, Expert advocates shift. And uh, right here, experts have made a strong case for increased adoption of the compressed natural gas, CNG, in Nigeria as a way out of the huge spending on fuel subsidy. Nigeria spent 400 billion monthly, uh, 400 billion naira monthly on fuel subsidy, a major factor behind the over 7 trillion naira budget deficit incurred by the federal government in 2022. In the bid to address the strength, the federal government said it will remove uh, fuel subsidy this year. Uh, but in an interview with Vanga, the president of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Mr. Chinedu Okonko, said CNG remains a better alternative. On fuel subsidy, expert advocates shift on the fuel subsidy. Away from that, we also have uh, a quick trip to Akure. The other state capital with a vanguard fan to develop 56 billion naira aerotropolis city in akure and aerotropolis city said to be the first of its kind in sub-saharan africa is to be developed at the akure airport in under state on the private public partnership arrangement between the federal airport authority of nigeria fan and the private investor fan said it has finalized arrangements with a private company ala resort limited to develop and transformed the Akure Airport into an aerotropolis uh, city. Speaking with newsmen in Akure, the general manager, business development fund headquarters, Mr. Uh, Isinth Ugu, said the decision was anchored on private public partnership geared towards developing an aerotropolis in the airport. Fund to develop 56 billion naira aerotropolis city in Akure and uh, the Vanga newspaper captures the rest of that away from that from uh, the vanguard why federal government must increase funding for education says foundation a non-government organization Wuro Lami foundation humanity impact and inspire yesterday urged the private sector and government to intensify efforts in boosting the nation's education sector and saying it will propel nigeria's advancement found uh, founder of the foundation if or Lami jacobs who made this call at the scholarship awards ceremony noted that the foundation is focused on uplifting nigeria's less privileged uh, there were details and rest of that story in the vanga newspaper why federal government must increase funding for education says foundation away from that also from the vanga newspaper don't interfere in choice of new alaf in royal families tell makinde Nine out of the 11 royal families in your town yesterday warned Governor Shea Makede from taking any further uh, action regarding the selection of the new Alafi of Oyo until the court case is resolved. Prince Afolabi Adeshino from the Adeyton royal family, who spoke on behalf of the nine families at a press conference in your town, also urged the governor to follow due process and ensure equity, fairness, and justice in the selection of a new Alafi. The families alleged that they have been marginalized in the appointment and selection process of the Alafi over the years, and that the Aguloye and uh, Aguloye family of the 11 families 
uh, within the Atiba lineage have been ruled without allowing the other nine to attain the stool of their forefathers. Don't interfere in choice of new Alafi royal families, tell Makide and the Vanguard published that very story. Peeking my last newspaper this morning from uh, that's the punch newspaper. Let's quickly go through the punch and see uh, the prominent headlines in the front page. From the front page of the punch, we have on Tribuna, Tinobu Atiku Obi's legal battle commences, and you get that details on page two and three in the punch newspaper. Also on National Assembly, APC Peaks, Apabio, and Abbas, uh, you also get the details on page two in the punch. High duty vehicle imports crash by 128%. You get our details on page 21 in the Punch newspaper. Obi's visit, not about reconciliation. Showing Kari also revealing that from the front page of a Punch on page 19 as the details. Shiba to present discharge certificate to Transcore Power. You get that also from the Punch newspaper. Adeleke Oyetola Aful, a Supreme Court delivers judgment today. You also get that details of that on page 16 or 15, I beg your pardon, in the point newspaper. A metro headline right here in the front page. Bandits kidnap 40 Kaduna worshippers, nine Emia's children. Page 19 captures the rather story, um, a rather sad story from there. Federal government plans a rescue of Nigerian domestic workers in Iraq. Page 15 also captures that very story going through uh quickly going through different uh stories right here the prominent headlines we have a trip to osho state with a punch at the lake oh it's a lot of full as supreme court leaves judgments today the all progressives congress and the people's democratic party in ocean state have expressed all for victory as the supreme court today determines the authentic winner of the july 16 2022 governorship election in the state the PDP candidate, Adimola Adelike, was returned, elected by the Independent National Electoral Commission. But the APC candidates at the poll, Adigboye Gawyetola, rejected the result and approached the election petition tribunal to challenge it. The Independent National Electoral Commission uh, to declare that Adelike polled 403,371 votes to defeat then incumbent governor, Adigboye Gawyetola, the APC, who got 375,027 votes. But Oyetola and, and the APC reject the result of the poll and edit for the tribunal. Adeleke Oyetola Ofu as Supreme Court delivers judgment today. Away from that, we also have on the tribunal, Tinobu Atiku Obi's legal battle commences. The legal battle to overturn the election victory of the president-elect, Bola Tinobu, commenced on Monday with the presidential election petition scored promising to deliver justice for those deserving it. The long-awaited pre-hearing proceeding, which was held at the Court of Appeal, Abuja was uh, presided over by Justice Aruna Samani, who gave the assurance that justice would be served dispassionately. And other members of the five-man uh, panel include Justice Stephen Ada of the Court of Appeal, Asaba Division, Justice Mr. Tura Bolaji Yusuf, Court of Appeal also of uh, Asaba Division, uh, Justice Ugo of Kano Division, and Justice Aba Mohammed of Ibada Division. Of the court of appeal on tribunal sinobo atiku and obese legal battle commences the punch newspaper as the story and away from that you also have uh, from uh, the metro page of the punch newspaper three suspended lagos courtes in uh, courtes i beg your pardon remanded the yaba magistrate courts on monday remanded three suspected courtes for alleged murder robbery and unlawful possession of hams they were accused of killing one Victor Issa. The defendants, Balogun Ahmed, Karim, Sonny, and Shina Bankole, were arraigned before Magistrate uh, Balogun L.Y. Balogun on six counts of illegal possession of a shotgun, theft, murder, and belonging to an unlawful group known as the A.E.A. Confraternity preferred against uh, them by the Lagos State Police Command. The prosecutors, ASP uh, Chekube Oke, okay, Okay, told the court that the defendants committed the offense in December 2022 and April 2023, respectively. Three suspected Lagos courtists remanded from the Punch newspaper. And quickly taking the spot story from the Punch newspaper. A city not on revenge mission against Madrid, says Guardiola. 
Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola says his players must on Tuesday avoid falling into the trap of trying to avenge last year's UEFA Champions League semi-final defeat to Real Madrid. And both teams will meet on Tuesday at the same stage of the tournament with Manchester City away in the first leg in Madrid. And Guardiola was visibly upset with a comment by his midfielder uh, Rodri Elia in their press conference at Santiago earlier on Monday. He, said, he had said that he was looking forward to a chance for revenge against Real Madrid. City not on revenge mission against Madrid, says Guardiola. And that uh, uh, story you will find in the sport page of the Punch newspaper. And this is where we'll call it today on Fresh Light on Aliyamoye TV and Radio. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Aliyamoye TV and radio like comment and share and definitely uh, that will be a great pleasure to us right here on Aliamwe TV and radio thank you so much once again I remain Mudukwe Akinyo Soye good morning <laughs>